Hi, this is Kumar Ang from ANSA Chennai. Today, let's try to understand about the International Standard BSN ISO 9712-2012. This international standard, specifies requirements, for principles, for the qualification and certification of personnel, who perform industrial non-destructive testing. Since this presentation will take more than one hour, to cover the whole standard, I have to decide to present it in parts. Before we proceed, I just wanted to emphasize that, if the presentation is good, kindly like the video. Please subscribe to our channel, to get the technical updates regularly. ISO 9712 is a, central certification scheme, by an independent certification body. The certification body, has to comply with, ISO IEC 17024, in order to issue the certification. The CB will be audited against the requirement of ISO IEC 17024 for compliance. It is a third-party certification, which is independent of the employer. The employer has no role in this certification, except in introducing the candidate, to the certification body, or the authorized qualification body, and document the validity, of the personal information provided. ISO 9712 is a sector-based certification, either the product sector or industry sector. Product sector can be welds, casting, forging, composites. Industry sector can be manufacturing, railways, pre and in service. Let us see the scope now. This international standard specifies requirements for principles for the qualification and certification of personnel who perform industrial non-destructive testing. A specific note is provided on the term industrial in this standard. Industrial implies the exclusion of applications in the field of medicine. That means testing in the medical field is not included in this standard. The system specified in this international standard can also apply to other NDT methods or techniques provided a comprehensive certification scheme exists and the method or technique should be covered by international, regional or national standards or the new method or technique to be demonstrated to the satisfaction of certification body. The certification covers proficiency in overall 10 methods apart from general conventional methods such as radiographic testing, ultrasonic testing, magnetic testing, penetrant testing, visual testing. It also includes acoustic emission testing, eddy current testing, infrared thermographic testing, leak testing, hydraulic pressure tests excluded, strain gauge testing. The only document which is referred in this standard is ISO IEC 17024, which is nothing but a Conformity Assessment, General Requirements for Bodies Operating Certification of Persons. This is the standard, based on which the certification body is audited. This international standard, contains principles and requirements, for a body certifying persons against specific requirements, and includes the development and maintenance of a certification scheme, for persons. I would like to conclude the first part here. Don't forget to like this video, and subscribe, this channel to get the regular updates. Thanks for the patient listening. See you in part 2 of this presentation. Signing off now. Kumaran from Ansa Chennai.